Good morning and welcome back to City Line. We are celebrating all things sweet here in Tacoma for this Valentine's Day or pre-Valentine's Day special, I should say. And right now I have with me OCD Candy. And when I was first introduced to OCD Candy last year, I never forgot about this wonderful woman and what she has done with candy and why it's called OCD Candy. So please join me in welcoming Ellen Laguten. You are the owner of OCD Candy. Correct. Welcome back, my dear. Thank you for having me back, Amanda. I appreciate it. It's great to have you back. And oh my gosh, I got to tell you, I'm loving the hair. <laughs> Did you have lavender when you were here last time? No, actually, last time I saw you, I was still in the military. That's right. Uh, now that I'm retired, I'm allowed to have a little bit of fun. So I love that. And I turned 50 last year too, so Congrats. I kind of did and everything. 30 years in the military. Correct. Thank you. Thank you so much for all that you've done for our country. You yeah, are it's impressive. An honor. So let's talk about what makes, first off, OCD. OCD actually stands for? Uh, well, I use it as obsessive candy disorder, but yes. it is uh, obsessive compulsive disorder. Yes. And my candy is actually designed to help people with those disorders, specifically children with autism, because you have to have the ones who have to count uh, they have to have, I have to have things in threes, I have to have things in fives. It's designed to help that. I love that. I mean, so obviously that makes it so incredibly unique. Mm -hmm. Have you have you heard of any other company like yours in the U.S.? No, and I'm not going to say that they aren't out there. I know you can get uh, certain candies in a specific color, mm -hmm. uh, but as far as the arrangement itself, usually the OCD that I'm thinking of it's hard to get candy that isn't already prearranged. Right. So, or if you uh, don't want to take the time to arrange it, that was my thing is for me, now I can do it, it's sort of therapeutic. Yes. But it's in a productive way instead of a destructive way for counting and organizing. How did this first come about with you? Because here you have this long military career mm -hmm. and then you're suddenly OCD candy is born. So what was the genesis of this? So in 2002, when I was at McCord Air Force Base, I actually had a candy jar that I kept on my desk. And people's favorite activity whenever I walked away from my desk was to shake up my jar because I always had it <laughs> layered and organized. Yeah, they thought it was funny too. <laughs> yes. And uh, one day I was putting it back together and I realized, you know, it, it shouldn't be this hard. I'm not the only person who eats their candy this way. I know I'm not. There should be yeah. an OCD candy company. So that was the light bulb moment. 10 years later, I kind of looked around, I was getting close to retirement, looked around. I still didn't see anything that resonated with me. So I thought, I'm just gonna start it. I'm just gonna make my own company and, and try to fill this niche for people like myself. You go, girl. So I that's how it started. That. So what do you love most about your shop? <laughs> uh, when people come in, uh, and it's candy, so it's happy. Oh, I haven't seen this candy in years. I have a bunch of nostalgic candy. Or they see the OCD candy. It's like, oh, I'm so happy that you have something like this. Because even if you don't have OCD, it's very pretty. It is. So just the smiling faces, uh, uh, especially the kids. It's funny that the parents will try to distract the kids. Oh, look across the street. And they have <laughs> eyes in the back of their head. They know there's a candy store right there. Oh, isn't it true? <laughs> Kids have built-in candy GPS. Radar, yes. It never <laughs> fails. So where are you located? Speaking of that, and when are you open? I'm actually in City Center Tacoma in the Tacoma Antique Row Theater District. I'm right down the road from Pantages and Tully's. So it's 754 Broadway. Uh, we're open Tuesday through Sunday from 11 to 5. And then in the summertime, when they have the farmer's market, we're open till 6 p.m. Wonderful. So what kinds of candy do you sell in your shop besides the OCD candy? I have a lot of nostalgia candy. I have a lot of local candies. Yay. Um, we do have one candy that's a, a, it's a, where is it, from Holland, a Holland candy. And it's a lot of the, ca the candies that we have have causes associated with them. Of course, Theo's, they do a lot of good works where they're at. Mm -hmm. um, the, the Tony Colony, which is the Belgian chocolate that I have, they work to eliminate slavery in South America, where, or they, they get a lot of, the, not South America, excuse me, Africa, where they get a lot of their chocolates. Um, J. Coco, which is part of Seattle Chocolate Company, they help to feed a hungry person in the U.S. So I have a lot of local candies, a lot of candies with a cause. 
it's important nowadays for yes. businesses to do that. Absolutely. I mean, I when I make my my buying choices as a consumer, um, more than ever, I look at the company behind it and what they donate to mm -hmm. because we are all connected that way. So I love <laughs> that I can walk into your store. And I can buy any one of those things and know that my purchase is going to make the world a better place. Mm -hmm. That makes it even sweeter, pardon the pun. Exactly. But it does. It absolutely <laughs> does. So um, does your shop offer anything else besides candy? Yes, we do. So the OCD candy portion goes to autism. Yes. And I'm not an expert on autism, but uh, I have talked to a lot of parents and caretakers who've come into the shop. And we have one of the things I learned about autistic children is they're very tactile. Yes. So I have these pillows now that uh, they're very soft. These are the microbead filled. They're very squishy. Mm -hmm. So the kids like to take it in. And when they're talking, there they we go. Can, Run your there right we go. There. there we go. We got a good shot. <laughs> and they're very soft. You wouldn't you wouldn't expect there we go. the sequins to be so soft. No, but they really are. I was, I was doing this in the green room, and it's so <laughs> soothing. And then I grabbed a hold of one of the donut pillows, mm -hmm. and the donut feel, pillows actually feel like a donut feels in mm -hmm. your mouth. It has a cakey mm -hmm. cushion to it. Well, these are unscented right? because some people have sensitivities to smells, but I have a lot of them that actually smell like frosting oh, or vanilla. Gosh. And in my storefront window, I have a large stack of donuts. And a lot of the kids, when they come by, they want their parents to take a picture by the donut stack. Oh, I love this. So. This is fabulous. And then the kids, I have kids come in and they want to write their name in the, in the sparkles so I can put it in my window. So the, this is new since you were here last time, isn't it? Correct. That is fabulous. So you've been, you, re you retired just this last year, but how long have you been in business? Because you worked both at the same mm -hmm. time, didn't you? I actually started a store in Tacoma in 2010, uh, and for about the last five years before I retired, I was working seven days a week because I was trying to build the business Goodness. so I could have something to do when I retired. I knew I didn't want to do a traditional job. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to do something fun because 30 years, it was my entire adult life. The military is structured, loved it, but I wanted to uh, be a little bit more freelance, I guess. Yes. Have purple hair. Uh, and have some fun at work and, and to be able to, to, to survive on or at least uh, make it a viable business, I knew I would need to put that time in. And, and you did, just, so. just like the Johnsons did when, they're, yes. when their great-grandparents worked six days yes. a week. And now I'm only working six days a week, so I have a day <laughs> off. It's incredible. I get a box of their candy every Christmas, and I love oh, it. Isn't, isn't it amazing? Yes. If you haven't tried their candy, you are missing out. <laughs> so what do you like about being in downtown Tacoma? There's so much uh, history. Mm -hmm. I don't think people realize how old Tacoma is. It's an old city. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, uh, historical interest, uh, historical points to it, and the architecture is incredible. Yes. The yes. 1920s architecture. Absolutely. So, so is it just you running the business, or do you have employees? I don't have employees. Not yet. But, uh, not yet. <laughs> Someday. That's right. Um, but uh, I do have the, short, the store I'm in. in that I am a currently, where is actually three stores combined. Mm -hmm. So, and we can take care of each other's business when we're, when we're not there. So we, it's not just my company, there's, there's two other stores, there's a little bit of everything. How wonderful. So collectively we're a mercantile. I love that, it's a little community in there. Mm -hmm. that, that's how it works. So let's talk about special events because we're, we're talking about Valentine's Day right mm -hmm. now, but there, we are truly in the candy eating holiday season here. Mm -hmm. So what other special events do you celebrate? So we have events in the shop that have to do with uh, in the bag because we're all women owned businesses. Nice. Um, we, the one that I do specifically once a year is uh, um, a candy tasting event. So you come in and I tell them any, any candy that you've always wanted to try but didn't want to pay to find out if you were going to like it, <laughs> now's your chance. And I'll go in and I'll open up any package of any candy I have for you to try during this event. I love that. Okay, so so reach into the recesses of your mind. Based upon someone trying something that they wouldn't pay to try, how how much of that sampling turns into an actual sale? A lot of times it does. Yeah. Uh, I like the sampling because you want to know, I, because if you buy a candy, I want you to, to make sure you're going to enjoy it. So I'm like, try it. Find out if you like it. Because I don't want to sell you something you don't like. Exactly. So they're like, I had no idea this was this good, or I didn't know this had nuts in it. Yeah. Oh, oh, I yeah. couldn't see that. Yeah, you and I <laughs> like talked about nuts. the nuts. Yes. Yeah. But there is there is that famous chain mm -hmm. where you walk in and the minute you get in there behind the counter something goes up as a sample. Mm -hmm. And I have been sample swayed many times <laughs> to try to 
buy something that mm -hmm. I didn't know I liked. And mm -hmm. But looking at it, I was like, that doesn't look like my kind of a candy. Mm -hmm. But shame on me. <laughs> so what is your favorite candy? Oh, I don't have a favorite. I, I love them all, obviously. You're a good parent. I love them all. But I, the one, it's easier to say what I don't like. There we go. What it's, don't you like? I don't like candies that have nuts in them. I love nuts. I could eat a bowl of nuts, but I don't like their texture in candy. Okay. So you can take a good brownie and ruin it by putting nuts in it. I'm, I'm kind of with you on that one, especially when it comes to like chocolate chip cookies. I'm okay. like, Except mm. for Almond Roca. That's, that's different. Yeah, that's right. It's different because, because Almond Roca, you can put it in your mouth and you can suck the nuts off mm -hmm. and chew them on a separate side of your mouth. Mm -hmm. And then it's like eating a bowl of nuts and then you yeah. go back to the toffee. And so they're smaller too, so you don't have the big chunks in yeah. there. See, so. I understand. It was I can do that candy. one. Big time. I love that. Um, website. Let's, mm -hmm. We've been showing a website. Can you order online? Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, only my OCD candy is offered online, though. Okay. So to get the other candies, you have to come into the shop. I love that. And how many times a year do you go out to find new candies that you haven't tried? At least twice a year, sometimes more. There's uh, shows they offer in Seattle. I just got back from a, a Vegas show. Nice. I went down there and I got to try some new stuff, especially when they and they have their new products. They like to show them at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm, I'm visual just like the samples we were talking about. I like to go and see the product and taste the product. I don't yeah. like to do it out of a catalog. Oh, absolutely. I mean, a catalog, I mean, what's that? That's not even, <laughs> that's not even a scratch and stiff, sniff moment. Exactly. But, but yeah, I mean, I'm all about the smell, the texture, mm -hmm. even down to like, what does it come packaged in? That, that's mm -hmm. all important to me. Yep. My dear, you are delightful. You are the doctor of candy. Wow. Thank, thank you. you so much for being here. Promise me you'll come back again. Yes, ma'am. I'd love to. And this time when you come back next time, I want to see purple and a little bit of teal right about there. <laughs> okay. I did have teal six months ago. Okay. We're on the same game. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. My pleasure. When we come back uh, after clearing out all of this candy and bringing in Brown and Haley, uh, we will come right back and talk about the history they have in Tacoma.